Hey YouTube, Gary's back with another update on the Rat Rod S10. First of all though, I want to uh, just talk a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> I've been running into a lot of movies on YouTube, <clears throat> excuse me, where the guys are uh, complaining about YouTube demonetizing their videos and they're losing their one of their sources of income and uh, this and that. Anyway, I'm not saying it's right or it's wrong. It is kind of curious that they only seem to do it to the gun videos, but uh, everything else is fine by them. But anyway, the reason I got into YouTube was I'm a I'm a big watcher of YouTube. I've got a lot of entertainment out of YouTube. I've gained a lot of knowledge from YouTube. There's some really talented people out there that are willing to share their talent with you. And uh, I really appreciate it. So I just wanted to try to give back a little bit to the YouTube community. And uh, as far as making money goes, that never even entered my mind because, uh, I don't know, these videos don't cost me nothing to make. I mean, it's stuff I'm going to do anyway, like the gun builds and the truck build. You know, it's just stuff I'm going to do. So, I don't know. I, I just don't agree with the... The money aspect of it that's just myself my opinion with the patreon pages and all that i don't know that might make me not very popular of course i'm not very popular anyway you can tell by my numbers but uh anyway we're that that's just my thoughts on that that's my thoughts you guys you know think whatever you want to but uh i'm sure you will but Anyway, we're going to shut this off now. I'll get you off the tripod, and I will show you the little bit of progress I've made on my truck. We've been doing that house remodel, and between that and work, and been under the gun to get the house done because my wife has her whole family over for Easter Sunday, which amounts to about, oh, neighborhood of 35 people but anyway and that takes a lot of effort to get the house prepared for that and I help her I ain't no chauvinist but anyway okay I'm going to shut this off we'll take a look at the truck alrighty I'm back again uh, I've got the front end pretty much done I got the two inch spindles all installed new brakes calipers uh, brake lines, brake hoses, rotors, the whole, the whole nine yards. But anyway, I've started on the rear. I'll get you around over here. It's kind of awkward where the truck is right now. I had to move back a little bit in order to get my rather large lawnmower in here. But anyway, uh, you can see here underneath my old raggedy coat that uh, there's a set of jumper cables running in the window. I actually have, I don't know if you can see it, yep there it is. The battery for right now is sitting on the floor of the passenger side. I just needed some place to put it and that worked out. But anyway, the back end here, I uh, got it jacked up, got the brake drums off. Have started putting the new brakes on. I got new emergency brake cables for it. I got new wheel cylinders for it. I got new drums and new brake shoes for it. And I'm going to pick up a set of new shocks for it too. Rear shocks. But uh, <clears throat> this brake drum on this particular side is the first one I started with. And me and my grandson, one grandson, was trying to get that brake drum off. And it come loose from the hub all right, but you couldn't get it over the shoes. 
And of course the adjusters were so rusty you couldn't turn them. But anyway, what did I do with that? I'll show you over here. We'll take a little walk here. Ooh, bright sunlight. Sorry about that. I ended up having to take an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel and cutting the face of that drum out. Uh, the pieces laying down there on the floor. So I could actually hook a crowbar between the hub and the brake drum and work it off. Here I found out what happened. Evidently, the last time somebody put the emergency or set the parking brake on it, the cable broke and the parking brake was stuck on on this side. And that's why the it was so tight. Now this other side, just out of curiosity, I took the wheel off, give the brake drum about four taps with a hammer and about fell on the floor. It came right off. But anyway, I'm going to, uh, I'm trying to do this right, have it safe. And actually, there is two different state patrols that live within a mile of me. And I know by, I know Ohio State Patrols. And when they see this, they're going to pull me over and they're going to want to look at it. That's just the way they are. I have a lot of respect for the men. They do a good job. They take their job very seriously. Uh, anyway, I think uh, the one was actually friends with my one stepson or is friends with my one stepson. I think I'm going to go up and talk to him once I am ready to put this on the road and I'm going to have him come down and take a look at it and see if I got all my T's crossed and my I's dotted, so to speak. Because like I said, I know Ohio and I will get pulled over just so they can check it out and make sure it's safe or whatever. All right. Like I said, I haven't got very far, but I don't know, hopefully get this Easter deal done. The house is done, and maybe I can get a little more time on it. All righty. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and you guys have a good one. See ya.